Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Why does everyone like Mongo Fire, the traditional healer who had 80 wives, 80 as in 80 zero? This video is all about remembering Mongo Fire, famed Cameroonian traditional healer who had 80 wives, like 10, 20, up to 80. He first made headlines in Cameroon in 1980s when at the age of 35 he married six wives all at once in addition to his already 36 wives. Mongo Fire, just like his name, Fire, was fire indeed. And was also a known singer, a traditional healer, herbal gynecologist, parapsychologist, and a stroga. Married his new set of six wives at a civil wedding ceremony on July the 11th, 1987 in the port city of Duara in Cameroon. At that time, he had about 28 children with over 30 wives aged between 20 and 24, and all living under the same roof in a small village north of Yawonde. The Cameroonian musician had also just returned from the US where he had just recorded his latest album, Stop Appetite. The well-known polygamist in the country during that time were reportedly envious of Mongo Fire's feet, with some accusing him of using black magic to charm the woman. He was, however, unbothered. The traditional healer and seer believed that polygamy was one of the continent's ancestral values that ought not to die. Polygamy is not a battlefield but it's a business where we live in community with mutual respect and understanding. The mighty words of Mongo Fire himself, according to reports. I don't do magic. My wives love me how I love them too. It is through this love that tranquility and peace come to me. Love alone can bring peace. Wow, what words of wisdom from our mighty Mongo fire. Indeed, polygamy is a century-old practice in Africa that has yet to disappear from modern life. It has both cultural and religious origins. And it is generally expected in about 26 out of 54 countries in Africa, particularly Muslim-majority countries. Critics of the practice say that it undermines women's dignity and increases the risks of diseases and poverty. Scores of women have been compelled to live in polygamous marriages, a usual practice among many cultures and centuries ago who were in search of large families to cultivate the land. To date, countries such as Algeria, Mali, Niger, Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, and so on generally accept polygamy. In Cameroon, polygamy has been continuing among traditional rulers, with many marrying as many wives as they desire. Locals believe that men who have many wives and children have supernatural powers and they help boost the economy. In recent years, the rising cost of taking care of families, hey, the spread of Christianity and the country's penal code that reserves jail sentence for adulterous spouses have been challenging the practice, however. At the time of his death in 2002, reports said that Mongo Fire had 80 wives. 
and some locals praised him for that. In May 1988, writer Martin Jumban narrated that in the Cameroonian Tribune, how Mongo Fire and his many wives once held up traffic in the city of Douara. Jumban wrote that he was in a taxi on his way to work when Mongo Fire appeared on the street with his bushy hair and a piece of yellow cloth leading his squad of women in town and disrupting traffic. Just imagine that situation. One man with a, a huge following, with the other idolers and people around all chanting, Mongo Fire, Mongo Fire, like king of women. The excited crowd viciously expressed its admiration for Cameroon's much vaunted macho man and lady killer Mongo Fire. A year after that, 15 of his then 45 wives sued him, demanding an additional vehicle for their transport, but the matter was solved. Some of Mongo Fire's wives helped him take care of his 15 hectare of plantation in the village of Edom, while others owned small shops and hairdressing salons opened up by the man himself. Actually, I think he was somehow fair and he was someone who was biting what he could chew. He sometimes appeared on televisions with some of his wives describing himself as a medicine man who could cure men with erectile dysfunction. He got a lot of clients in his lifetime, reports said. As a singer, Mongo Fire sometimes performed on stage with his wives. He disliked being compared with the Nigerian Afrobeat legend Felakuti, who also had many wives. What's more, he never wanted his children to know their mothers, urging that each child belonged to all his wives. Not much has been said about his wives and children since the pass or since his passing away on July 6, 2002 at the Central Hospital in Yaoundé following an illness. And that is the mighty story of Mongo Fire, a famed Cameroonian traditional healer who had eight wives. Come down in the comment section and tell me, would you be a second wife to a man? Or later on, if he has more than one wife, would you top on the number as that? Or as a man, how many wives do you think you can handle? Because, you know, we have to see Brother Mongo Fire reincarnate. My name is Osi the Bone Child and I'll be seeing you in another video. Please come down in the comment section and let me know, would you be a second wife to a man or as a man, how many wives can you handle?